Welcome back everybody. It's been a while since my last video and I have good reason for it. Well, I got really busy with work as I did announce that I was going into the beginning of the school year, but then last weekend I decided, okay, I got to put out some videos. I had multiple videos planned and instead I got COVID. So I had the, the whole weekend feeling sick and that spilled into the next week. And the biggest symptom that I had was just a killer sore throat. And by Thursday, I had gone back to work. But when I sat down to try and record some of these videos, it just wasn't working. I was getting really flustered and uh, my throat was really itchy. and I wasn't able to really speak that well uh, for long periods of time on camera. So I just kind of scrapped that and went back to work the next day. I made that post that you might have read on my channel about my pro D going really well when I was presenting. And then today I said, okay, let's give this another try and let's record a video. So let's get right into the purpose of this video, which is to formally announce that I am going to discontinue my war of the visions content on this channel. I'm sorry. It's something that I thought really carefully about. I actually wanted or thought about doing based on the recommendation of a commenter, a weekly or the visions video where I would share just lump thoughts about everything that could be happening in that video on global or JP or whatever it is. And I sat down to, to kind of do one of those videos today and I just, it wasn't there. I wasn't feeling it. And I just thought to myself, like, am I going to do this and, you know, give up on that and then just kind of string you along? I don't know. It just wasn't in the cards. I, I wasn't feeling it. And so I just decided, you know, it's just better to focus on stuff that I'm really motivated to do. And so that's what I'm going to do. So I am still playing War of the Visions daily. I got Alaya, so I'm, you know, one of the lucky people with Alaya that is just cruising through guild battle right now while the rest of you have to deal with how OP she is. And that feels pretty good because I'm not usually on that side. I'm usually trying to make things work with a fire team. And I know I'd be pretty frustrated if I was trying to beat Alaya with the fire team right now. And uh, so I'm still playing War of the Visions, but I'm just not going to create content for it anymore. But I am going to talk uh, a little bit about what I am going to do. And I'm also going to, you know, say some thank yous. So let's get into that. One more note I did say, and I want to confirm that this video is not monetized because I am not trying to get, you know, whatever ad revenue it would be off of, you know, uh, I'm quitting content video because I know that's the type of thing, you know, that people could be interested in clicking on. So, I mean, for whatever that's worth, that's what I'm doing now. I'm not actually quitting, like fully making content, just more the visions content specifically. So, uh, let's get into some thank yous and I just want to say throughout my time making War of the Visions content, which is, I guess, over three years now, it's I just had an incredible amount of support from so many different people. And I'm not going to name all those specific people because I'm sure that I would miss somebody and I don't want to make anybody feel uh, bad. But uh, really big shout outs to everybody that ever commented on my videos, the regular commenters, the people that would give it the thumbs up for the algorithm, uh, people that just regularly viewed uh, my videos, also to the people that would come and chat with me on stream and keep me company, people on my Discord, my Discord's amazing, the amount of people that we have on there that are so friendly uh, to each other, but also whenever a new person comes in, welcoming them in and helping them out. Uh, my guild, I mean, it's I, I'll be straight up honest with you, if I wasn't in my guild right now, I don't know if I'd still be playing War of the Visions. And that's not to say that War of the Visions isn't fun without a guild. Uh, it's just that playing with them and talking with them on Discord makes the game extra fun. And that that's really what what I love about it. So that, that community feel and I think a lot of you would feel the same. So that that's really exciting. Uh, I also want to really particularly thank my channel members uh, because they support me so much that they've chosen to do so financially, which is really great. And I am still going to be having channel member content uh, every week. So uh, what I do is I put out a video um, for channel members specifically every week, except for the week that I was sick, uh, I put out a post and sometimes I, I might put out a post if, if it's like really busy, but otherwise there's always something exclusive happening each week uh, that is just for my channel members. And so that will continue, but it will have to be something besides War of the Visions. Uh, and so I hope that I can still create content that all of you are going to be interested in. And if not, no hard feelings. 
So I also want to, uh, you know, note that there are still a ton of really amazing War of the Visions content creators out there. You all already know Oran J and JB79 and Ready Player Well. Uh, but just in case you don't know this next person, KT7Up is an amazing YouTuber who's doing in-depth coverage of new units on Global, but he is a JP player. Uh, so he's already played with these units. He plays against them in the meta and plays high level and will be put puts out reviews for all these different units to give you an idea of what they can do and what their thoughts are. And they also have a really great community page on YouTube where there's like live updates and translations of JP units, uh, testing of things like Squall's Honeycomb Barrier. So lots of really good information on that channel. And it really should be, you know, a way to, you know, if you're looking for analysis of units and you're missing my analysis, well, he's doing it and probably doing it better than I was. And he also includes some AI stuff as well. So I know that's something that people liked about mine. And then he brings that JP perspective of, you know, is that unit good or not in the JP side, which was something I was doing through data on the War Division Stats website. Uh, but now, you know, uh, you don't have access to that. So uh, definitely check out him. Uh, so otherwise, I'm going to still be playing War of the Visions daily. If you want to chat with me about War of the Visions, then there's a few places you can do that. So if one place would be my Discord. You can always come into our channel and we can talk about the new units. You can ask if I pulled for anybody, whatever it is. I'm still around. And also on Twitter, I'm pretty... I'm pretty active on Twitter. You can always, you know, tweet me your polls and how it went. And we can chat about that or, or you know, same thing. Ask me how I'm doing and, and we can uh, still connect about the game of War of the Visions, just not through video content. Okay, so looking forward, my plan is to make video game content in general, specifically RPG content. And I need to finish up some reviews uh, just to get started here. And I actually had my Sea of Stars review written a week ago uh, to film last weekend, but I just wasn't able to do it because of the COVID, um, you know, bout that I had. So uh, I also wanted to share that I actually created a second channel a little while ago and I didn't advertise it because I just wanted to see how it could do without you know really telling people hey I have this other channel go like subscribe to it or whatever uh, I just wanted to see if it people would watch the videos and so uh, the channel is called Missidia I'll link to it in the description and I am going to write so far I've just covered Warhammer content specifically Age of Sigmar but I am planning on doing some other tabletop stuff including D&D &D on there uh, I'm still kind of getting a feel for it but what's really neat is that it's small numbers still like 50 subscribers but there's videos with 600 views Views. like people are clicking on it and, and checking it out so I mean it's going somewhere I'm pretty pleased with how that's going so that channel's Missidia I'll put it out there uh, but I will say that the metrics are so important you know especially to a growing channel and so if you think to yourself like hey I'm gonna go help Missidia out I'm gonna go sub uh, which I love it's amazing thank you uh, but I'm gonna go click on all his videos uh, be careful because if you click on my video and then click away and just like close your browser that's actually more hurtful than uh, helpful for the channel so uh, no pressure not telling you to do this, but don't like go click on the video and just click away right away because that actually just tells uh, YouTube that you were not interested in my video and it was not what you were thinking it was and uh, that you don't want to see it. And then that tells YouTube that people like you with the same interests as you don't want to see that kind of stuff. So, uh, you know, just in case you want more Missidia content, you can head over there. And if you're interested in those topics, you can head over there. But otherwise, uh, you know, stay tuned on this channel for uh, some more RPG stuff like gaming, like video gaming wise, uh, while the other channel is a tabletop stuff. So with all of that said, I just want to say thank you one more time. It's been an absolute joy doing War of the Visions content and interacting with all of you for years now. And I hope that we can continue to interact with whatever content I make going forward and just in the game or on Discord uh, and anywhere else that we might meet up. So until my next video, uh, which will hopefully be, well, I don't know if I'll have it edited for tomorrow, but I'll be filming it tomorrow. Uh, I will, <laughs> I guess I'll see you in the next one whenever that may be. Uh, thank you, everybody, and I'll uh, see you soon.